I want to take a break from uh, the saxophones for a while. I want to talk about the murder of Tim Bacon. There was an incident that occurred in the year 2000 between Tim Bacon and legendary basketball coach Floyd Irons. Tim Bacon had a report entered into the family services record, something to the effect that he had been roughed up or beaten in some way by Coach Irons. This was disputed, and um, after being in the records for a while, there was a judge named Susan Block. Judge Susan Block said that needs to be removed from the family services records. Now, I don't know about judicial protocol. Maybe something was wrong about the procedure they used to put it in there. Maybe she talked to eyewitnesses and uh, decided that uh, from what she could gather, uh, it was a very exaggerated report and very unfair to Coach Irons. I don't know what happened there. Judge Block might be able to tell you. Later on, though, in uh, the year 2006, um, he was 15 in 2000. He was 21 in 2006. Early in August, uh, there was talk of um, Tim Bacon taking this case to the FBI making a lawsuit against the St. Louis Public Schools and Coach Irons. And uh, there was a lot of stuff going on the summer of 2006 for a lot of different reasons, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. But on the 18th of August, after this talk had come up again about uh, the incident that happened in 2000, someone decided for whatever reason that uh, they would fire 12 bullets into uh, the body of uh, Tim Bacon. And it was reported by Bill Bryan in the uh, St. Louis Post-Dispatch. And after that initial report, it was hardly ever mentioned by anyone in the St. Louis media ever again. No explanation, no follow-up. And that is the part that bothers me. I don't have any kind of an emotional attachment to uh, Tim Bacon. I didn't know the kid. I never uh, knew anything about him or his family. I think it's terrible any time a person of that age gets murdered in that fashion. But the thing that really caused the reaction in me was the lack of media follow-up to find out what happened and why.